Yo, yo, it's your boy, AK Electro, and today what I got for you guys is how to make a generic 2K thumbnail. And a lot of you guys are probably in the 2K community, I don't know, might not know how to make thumbnails, I'm just assuming. Personally, when I was looking for 2K packs, I really couldn't find a lot, and either people were trying to charge a lot, or they were, uh... They're outdated, so I wasn't gonna spend any money, so I was just like, I'll look up shit from Google, and I'll I'll come up with my own original shit, or use past shit that was old. Okay, so what I have for you guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this simple, but cool, awesome, generic 2K thumbnail. I made this for a guy now, and I think it turned out really, 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 really cool, personally. Um. I like how I thought King Carter turned out. His face is like very bright and it catches your eye. But then he also has a YouTube logo right above his head like he would in game because it's called I dropped off someone with the logo. I pod King Carter. And then I like, I love the circle effect. I got that from a pack. But I'm gonna be showing you guys how I personally made this simple logo or thumbnail. So if you're very, very, very new to th uh, Photoshop, you're gonna wanna go to new. 1280 720 pixels this is a generic size for a thumbnail this is really my first ever ever thumbnail tutorial so if i skip a lot of things which i probably will do um i'm sorry but you're just gonna have to pick up like i did i taught myself from youtube so. this is gonna pop up transparent or single color if it's not transparent what it's gonna do is it's gonna say a layer and it's gonna be a color that you chose what you can do is you can just go down to create a new layer and delete the color layer and there you go but i already have a template made that i use for the guy that i use for a lot of his thumbnails so i'm already using that okay let me hide that okay so i have the his logos in the background please do not take this you probably can't whatever and then i have this simple border i have and what you guys can do is you can make this with just inner shadow that and then drop shadow and then to change the color is this yeah turn gray green the themes kind of green gang so you get the point but here's the things real quick you can stop it but I'm not gonna explain it because that would take too much time there you go if you want to know how to make that simple border there you go I think it's a, a really cool effect so, this is his template, but I'm going to be using it for this logo, or this template. I keep saying logo. Okay. So, first off, we're going to need iPod King Carter. I already have a picture online. If you literally look up iPod King Carter, this will be the picture that pops up. Control Z to redo. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control T, hold Shift, and keep it proportional. And I'm just going to bring it right here. I have a simple green circle effect which looks super cool from a riser mini pack it's called this this is it look it up on youtube it's a cool pack shout out to him that i got the circle from so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go to this simple tool the quick selection tool and you're gonna select all of the green and then you're gonna hit select inverse you're gonna go to iPod King Carter. Make sure you're you are on the original green layer, and you're gonna want to go to the iPod King Carter layer. See, and you want to after you hit select inverse. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue, and you're gonna right click, and you're gonna want to make sure you have this rasterized. But you're gonna want to hit cut. What that did was that cut iPod King Carter. Correct? Correct. So iPod King Carter was just cut. See? Okay. Now we have that, that really circle I feel. And all we gotta do is we gotta go to this uh, tool, the polygonal like, And then basically go where it just cut out and you're gonna just wanna basically oh, hit control D to get rid of that selection I accidentally finished. Um, and this may take a while. Or there's probably an easier way, but this is the way I was, I wouldn't say taught, but this is the way I learned. 
And you, you might find a different way to do this. I don't know. But I taught myself, like I said. So I learned different than, like, you would say the correct way. But it gets the job done, right? That's all that matters. Okay, I'm going to cut this layer out. And I'm just going to hide the other one. If it hides. Okay, I'm going to delete it. Now we have iPod King Carter in the circle effect. I'm going to hit control with both of these and then hit control T and I'm going to personally just make it a little bit bigger, move it down and then finish apply. So now we have iPod King Carter in a circle, a cool circle. And I think it's really good. Next is what I went out and got is a simple YouTube logo. This isn't the logo I use on the, the thumbnail, but it's whatever it'll do. But what you can do to make it look similar is I'm just going to hit control T and then I'm going to stretch it. Now it looks like a logo that would be in the game, but not really, whatever. So we have the logo and iPod King Carter in, in a circle. We personally, we, not personally, we already have it halfway done. Next, we're going to add the words. And I'll show you how I did the words. I already have them made, but I'll show you how to do it so you guys aren't confused. So all you're going to do is you're going to want to create a new layer, 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 and I'm going to type up. Type, I dropped off just one layer. And then you're going to save someone with the logo for a different one. So, make it, I'm going to hold control and then show you. Make it 82 font, both of the, I dropped off someone. So 82 and then do, do another layer for someone with the logo. So someone with the logo. Boom. I'm gonna get rid of those because I don't need them. I already have them made. After you position position them like I do, what you are gonna do, what you are gonna do, I cannot talk. What you are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to stroke, put that thing on six with the black color, inner shadow, look at these, opacity 75, distance, you don't wanna make it crazy because then you can't even see anything. So I just left it about, you're gonna wanna, you wanna be able to tell, but you're, like, you're not gonna be able to wanna tell too much. So like, I'd probably say nine through like six is pretty good. I kept it at seven, shadow black. But you can, you can adjust it. You, this is how you learn, you adjust with things. And then color gradient is, I did the green, which I just got from right here. And I did the white, and all I did was, I adjusted the angle, and then I have it make it, I made it look, going down. Now, I also adjusted the scale. See how the scale can affect that? It, it's a blending. But you don't want it to look too strong like that or you don't want it to look like that. So I did perfect right there. This is a good thing. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to I dropped off and you're going to have a stroke for that as well. Black, six. And then you have that stroke around it. But what it's supposed to do is someone with the logo is trying to get your attention. Because that's the the meat. The meat of the thumbnail. You don't want you don't care about I dropped off. You, once you see logo and you see 2K, you're like, shit, he played someone good. Okay. Next, we're gonna get that Pro Am logo. All you have to do is look up 2K20 Pro Am logo. Transparent on YouTube or on Google. And it's pretty easy. All I did was hit control T. Oh. All I did for it was hit control T and literally just resize it and twist it. It's pretty easy. So control T, resize it and twist it. And I put it down in this corner. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. It's pretty easy. And then lastly, this is pretty plain. It. There's nothing behind it, but there doesn't need to be. Like, you could post this, and I'm, I'm sure it would get really, really good amount of views still. I'm pretty sure it would. But, what I personally did was I added a little bit more flavor, and I added a Pro-Am thing in the background. And I think it pulls it together, but you don't need to if you were to make something like this. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Opacity, and you're going to want to turn that bit down. Because like this, that does not look good way too bright okay turn that down to like personally like 20 works that's good 
Basically, where there's something in the background, and if you look closely, you can see it, but if you're not looking for it, you won't see it. Just adds more to the photo. And then, I have these little stardust things. I'm just gonna equip those. And I also turn the opacity on them down. See? They're pretty low. They're there, but they're not there at the same thing. It just adds that. Pulls it together more. Little things can pull and make a big thing. Okay? So I have three of those. See? And then lastly, I got a color corrections thing from this pack again. And I'm just gonna put it right here. And boom. Look at that. Off. On. And we're gonna look at the original. This is the one we remade. This is the original. Literally the same thing, but it, I don't want to copy too much. So, thank you guys for watching. This is your boy, aka Electro. Drop a like, subscribe, peace.